Hello again everyone. I'm gonna redo this video. I'm gonna just try it on my iPad so it's less uh, steps to upload. Anyway, um, okay, I'll try to just do what I did last. Uh, so, I've got uh, Variac going through ammeter and uh, tuning cabs for 60 hertz. NST is case grounded. Uh, which is the spark gap negative, and uh, both high volt leads go to the positive diodes, and that goes through the primary coil and uh, out the spark gap there. Uh, so, I've got about uh, 0.4 amps running the system at about 60 volts 60 I don't know 65 volts maybe so uh, we've got it's about the same it's about the light you'd expect uh, from about 24 watts or 26 watts or so um, so uh, next I've got the uh, secondary coil and uh, both are wound clockwise but they're uh, connected separately until after the diodes so the uh, tuning caps are uh, 100 nanos which uh, uh, puts me at about um, uh, 56 kilohertz uh, tuned for 70 micro henrys so uh, with these coils actually um, they measured about 160 micro henrys, so I tapped it uh, with these uh, uh, little shunting wires here, and um, that gives me a... Uh, okay, this secondary is not used, so I'm doing that on purpose to show you, but this is uh, out of tune, and it's about halfway. Uh, the 70 micro henry point and uh, I've got just enough uh, ferrite to give me that tuning uh, it works without ferrite but you can uh, uh, gets a little more enhanced with uh, ferrite and so um, then the uh, diodes going uh, forward backward forward backward and then those are paralleled to the load so uh, we've got just the one secondary right now, and like I said, that's about the light you'd expect. It's uh, about half lit. So I'm going to add the second tuned secondary. And I'm just going to uh, adjust something. Got to adjust the gap a bit, but that's a lot brighter than uh, just the single coil. Um, it's pretty much the full 50 watts, and then uh, you can see the. Uh, discharge we get. It's not bad. A little bit erratic. Uh, I gotta fix the gap, but uh, this is how much quieter it gets inside the PVC. So you can see how much quieter it gets uh, inside the PVC, along with the uh, magnets quenching.
so. You can see the uh, needle deflection on the ammeter here. And then without these uh, 60 hertz tuning caps, you can see the current uh, jump up here. So it really helps to tune the input for 60 hertz with this. Uh, to use 58 microfarads, but I've got 60 microfarads. Anyway, um, these diodes are getting pretty warm, and these are uh, 1,000 volt, uh, 3 amp diodes, doubled up and uh, series connected as well. Um, so we'll take off the top coil again. I'm just going to adjust the gap here a bit. So you can see I'm using these, uh, they're just kind of little cabinet knobs. And uh, they break over uh, at a lot higher voltage uh, just because of the polished wider surface instead of being a smaller pointier surface. So uh, that'll probably work a little better. It's kind of a a little more of a process to adjust. Um, you actually can um, touch it while it's running if you touch the negative side, but uh, I'm not that brave with one hand. <laughs> that sounds a lot more smooth. Totally gets uh, welded to it. Ow. Hey, <laughs> ground fault. Anyway, um, yeah, so it really seems to give me uh, something little magical extra with uh, this other tune secondary which is completely isolated from the other one up until we get past the diodes. Goes from about half lit to fully lit with, uh, what was it like, 20 four watts or something. So, yeah. And that's assuming that this is RMS voltage, so it could be even less than uh, 24 watts going in. Uh, but, yeah, I really think this second Tune secondary is pretty special. That is hot.
Alright, well, I guess that's about it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.